Hi, just an update video on the BM787BT. Just trying to uh, finalize a uh, thing, an issue I've got with the app. I've got version uh, 1.2 uh, in the BLE firmware uh, chip in here. So, uh, Brian have sent me a new BLE module. There it is. There we go. They've sent me this uh, new module, which has been programmed with version 1.3 firmware. You can remote download it um, over the thing, but that's uh, tricky. So they've just sent me a uh, new module. So we're going to install that and um, it does not work at the moment. This is the latest version of the app. This is this is version 1.073 there and uh, yeah, it shows it the last time it physically connected, but it doesn't like it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything does not connect it will not connect regardless of what how what combinations I do of all this so I'm going to uh, install this new uh, firmware for the Bluetooth and hopefully it works the latest version of the app works fine on uh, the Apple fruity uh, shoe phone so that's not a problem it's just uh, Android for me at the moment but it's working for them so we're not quite sure but anyway don't have the latest firmware so let's crack it open shall we okay Let's get these two pesky screws in here. Let's open her up. Oh, hello, hello. There we go. And we'll get the board out. I think there's another screw under here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Sneaky little bugger. And under that screw as well. All right. There's our board. And we'll have to take off the LCD. It's a bit of a pain to do this. Shame that you can't take the screen off from the front, but you know, you've got to have those zebra strips pressured down. So they've decided to do that with screws instead of, you know, some clever work in the case or whatever. I always forget that fifth one there. Not sure why they needed that fifth one, but anyway, there we go. And there is our board. So We'll take that one off and we'll put it over there and we will install the new one. They're, I don't want to get them mixed up, but they're absolutely identical. Um, they should be. It's only the uh, firmware um, difference in them. So make sure I line that up. Yep. Okay. No worries. Unfortunately, not easy to uh, power this thing up without putting it all back together. And of course, you've got to squeeze the LCD in there. So yeah, you can see where I said, why put the third um, screw down here like this? It's like, oh, okay, the zebra strips up the top, you know, eh, whatever. Anyway, um, if you uh, want to know what the uh, missing circuitry is, that's for the um, extra uh, true RMS uh, chipset. And this does, this is a true RMS meter, but it's um, limited bandwidth uh, built into the chipset. So if you want the uh, extended frequency range, true RMS, uh, then you need to get the highest end model with the true RMS chip fitted. Okay. Wouldn't want to do this too many times because it is uh, into plastic, so, which is fine, but <laughs> not if you, if, if you did this 10 times, you know, you might strip some of your plastic there. But of course the key to screwing self tappers into plastic like this is to turn it counterclockwise until you feel it oh, fall in like that and then it goes into the existing thread I've mentioned that many times but a lot of people miss it anyway there we go hang on is that a fingerprint mark under there nothing more annoying you take a meter apart and then you realize that you've got something on the inside no yeah that's an that's an outside screen no is that an inside there's a Whoa, my fuse just popped out. All right, might as well put it back together now because I'm pretty confident it's gonna work. The fuse back. There's a lot happening inside the modern multimeters. They're quite, uh, quite jam-packed. Of course, you've gotta have spacing to meet your suitable cat ratings. Yeah, there's only so much you can do though. Last screw. Okay, screen's all good. Back it back on. Bob's your uncle. And the thing is you have to put these screws back in, otherwise the battery compartment <laughs> doesn't go in. So, yeah. So there you go. Boom. 
don't need to put the other screws back. It'll work without those. Those top ones have to go in. So, we're on. We're on. All right. Will it just fire up and work? To be fair, I'll shut down the app. All right, we've restarted. Um, let's go online. It's turned on. Let's go in. Boom. Transmit data. Come on. Usually it only takes a couple of seconds. Wah, 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 wah. Something else is wrong. Okay. Something's wrong on my shoe phone. My shoe phone did update its OS. The other, like everything's changed. It's got this like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's kind of like a, a, a brown. And these icons up here, these changed and stuff like that. And like, I think it just updated like in the middle of the night or something. And yeah, every like the icons suddenly changed. If you got any idea what that is, um, leave it in the comments, but this, this used to work just fine. Hmm. Uh, might be my my specific phone. Okay, I've got version 1.073 and it's not reading that, that it's got the new 1.3 in there. So it's not connecting and you don't have to actually pair this. Like if I go into Bluetooth and try and pair it, it says like pairing rejected. You don't actually have to do that because this is just continually bro broadcasting and this should just re receive it. But it does not work on my Android. It used to be rock solid on my Android, but I've updated the version and my OS has been updated to God knows whatever it is now. It just, it doesn't connect. It used to be super reliable. Bloody Bluetooth. It's a pain in the ass. Always has been. You notice that the Apple Fruity phone up here, that's an infrared LED. Cause I can't see that with my eye, my Mark I eyeball. They are flishy flashing you with an infrared LED. What's Apple doing? Oh, doll. Look, if I take it further away, there you go. It's, it is receiving. I forgot. God, I'm dumb. Let's default part. Let's try to do the password again. Confirm. Device connecting. There you go. We're good. Okay. Oh, oh, it's, it's a completely different device. Look at that. That's interesting. Ah, okay, there might be some, uh, like, a legacy issue there. I'm going to try that over here. I reckon this is going to work here, right? Boom. Should come back online any second. Should. Should. Come on. You can do it. Yes, there you go. Right? So I'm going to shut that down completely so that doesn't interfere. Now, let's try this on the Android. There you go. It is receiving. It is receiving. Doll. Totally forgot about this. This is a pebcac, but I like because it was already paired, like, you know, so it should have it should have worked. So there you go. No, it's it's gonna work now. Maybe may well maybe that was the issue with this one as well, perhaps. But yeah, why like because he updated the version of the app, the old legacy connection didn't work. That's what I'm talking about. It works fine now. Okay, right. Yeah, that, right. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's an issue. Um, it, it's only an issue if you updated these old versions and you had a legacy connection or something like that. Okay, groovy, 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 groovy. Okay, so we are connected. Yeah, we're, we're good to go. So we can go into the millivolts there and we can go into uh, dashboard. We can select device. We can go into channel. We can go into module. We can real-time log that sucker and go um yep we've got our um eco mode and our power mode let's go into our power mode and come on you can do it there we go and if i put my fingers over that we should be able to whee, woo, look at that and if i can ground myself on the mat should be pretty good and if i take my hand off the mat and if i rub my feet on the carpet woohoo <laughs> <laughs> All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, it looks like it was some legacy connection issue. I think, yeah, we are we are good to go now. We are good to go. Excellent. All right, so I've got the, I do believe this will be the release version. We've got version, we can go in here, um, unless there's a few more little updates like to the app, but the Bluetooth version should be the 1.3. And uh, yeah, look, see, there's, there's, there's two modules down there, right? There's that one, which is 1.2 and this one, 
uh, which is one point. Oh, oh, it's point one, <laughs> not point one point two, and this new one is one point oh three. So that's actually quite a significant jump, unless they, yeah, <laughs> right. So a significant difference there. There you go. So app version one point oh seven three, um, and but the the Bluetooth version down here is the one that you have to um, nail. Although you can actually remote um, update that you can do over the air. But there's no point in me trying to. Oh, do I actually press? <laughs> I might have pressed update there. Um, yeah, there's no uh, reason to try that because there's no later version. I have the latest version, but in theory, um, users will be able to update the BLE over via the app. So no problem. Yep, we're all good to go. So I, don't, I think uh, all the issues have been solved in the app and everything's hunky dory. So yeah, that's interesting. How can I get rid of? Can I get rid of this? Can I like kill? Can I kill it? Edit, reset the, uh, reset the connection password. Rem remove the device. Okay, so I can physically remove that now. Cool bananas. Okay, let's remove that, and it's just left me with that new version, even though it was exactly the same number. You know, it's the exact same meter, but uh, anyway, well, and we can edit the device name. So if you've got multiple multimeters, you can actually connect them all up at once and you can give them different names and you can log multiple channels and stuff like that, which is really cool. But I've only got the one meter, so I can't test that. But there you go. That is cool bananas. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So yeah, I'm glad I figured that out. Um, I will tell them that um, I'll do a bit more testing on this. But uh, yeah, basically, um, they've nailed every all the issues that we had with this, um, and the app looks really good now. The uh, Apple one was working was working great. So I think we're going to uh, actually run with this. So apparently they've got the meters sitting there ready to go. Um, I've just got to give the go ahead to ship them, and I think I'll do that now. I think we're uh, I think we're good to go. We're solid um, on that. So. Yeah, hopefully, um, in the store in the coming weeks, maybe, something like that. Un unless something else goes wrong, but no, it's looking cool bananas now. Catch you next time.